if you think about it, ang story sang adoption is actually God's story, how He adopted us. My name is Mark Habag and I am a father of three boys. One biological child, one adopted, and one foster child. And I'm married to Yen, my beautiful wife. And also, I'm leading a church called the City Iloilo. So we started ang Amon Adoption and Fostering Journey uh, 2013. Wala ko plano mag-adapt because I have a biological son. But one day, God gave me a dream. Uh, in that dream, I saw a beautiful boy floating in a river. So, uh, ang akon nga propensity is to save that boy in katuan ko. Kagin save ko siya literally from the river. Pag bugtaw ko, uh, I told my wife about the dream and I asked her nga if there is orphanages or homes diri sa aton city, sa Iloilo city. So, because of that dream, amo man na nag-encourage sa amon nga mag-process ang amon license legal foster parent ang amon first nga nga gin foster called Sam nga nakita lang sa dalan kag gintawgan kami sang DSWD to uh, foster him and uh, amon ning do miracle guru na tabo kay si Sam is dying kumbaga nagambalang doktor na mo anytime from the day mat mapatay na siya and I think because of love, uh, proper nutrition, kag touch, na survive si Sam. And uh, because na grow sa amon family, ang DSWD nagambal nga pwede namon siya ma-adapt. So dito na process namon ang uh, first namon nga adopted child si Samuel Joseph. So dito kami nag think nga okay, let's add more. So dito kami nag ask sa DSWD if there is any uh, child nga ginabandon or neglect, we are open nga ibutang na butang sa family namon. So dito na nag start ang amon nga uh, uh, adoption and foster nga journey. Dito ba namon nakita dayon nga grabe ang struggles and and testings. Balila gani, uh, it takes a village to uh, parent a child. So, kinanan yun guru, community to parent a child, especially those who are vulnerable coming from uh, environment na gina-abuse sila or gina-neglect sila, gina-abandon sila. Good lie siya. Pero nothing is too hard once nga ang community mag-work together in order for that child to grow in the context of family. So, dito na mo nakita na yun nga ang kabataan gali, gag-grow gid siya especially spiritually, physically sa family mismo. Hindi sa homes, hindi sa orphanages, hindi sa facilities nga may food, shelter, clothing which is ang basic needs nila. Pero dito na mo nakita nga once nga gin butang mo siya gali sa family, dira gali siya ga thrive, dira siya gali ga grow. If you think about it, ang story sang adoption is actually God's story how he adopted us. Ang bag sang isa ka great theologian gani, if you want to measure God's love, duwa ko no ka butang. One is through the cross and another is adoption. It's a beautiful story of God adapting us into his family nga kita unworthy undeserving because of his mercy nga God stooped down in the person of Jesus he died on the cross kag in essence gin sign niya aton adoption paper through his blood so mamangkot kamo is adoption costly uh, is adoption hard kay nanang gid mong suffer yes the same way nga kita mo gurong gospel na Jesus suffered for us to be part of the family. So dito na mo nakita nga wow, this is a beautiful story kag sa amon family actually na bless kami kung paano kami gingaan privilege ni Lord to take this vulnerable children na mabutang na sa family namon even though broken kami as a couple pero gin-entrust ni Lord sa amon kay ang main goal niya gali is to show how He adopted us through Jesus Christ. So I just want to encourage uh, everyone who are watching, do everything in love. And we as Christians, although we are weak and broken, but once nga gin-express na to na ang love that surpasses all knowledge, that will bring transformation sa imo nga colleagues, sa imo friends, even your enemies.
show the love of God in the person of Jesus Christ who suffered on our behalf and who is coming back again.